Today, we are eating exotic food from all over the world. From chicken intestines, rattlesnake, all the way to bull testicles, we've got it all. We hired two professional chefs to prepare these dishes in the best way possible. I'm excited to experience food that I never thought I'd be eating. All right, Jessica, whenever you're ready, choose two buttons. What's the first one gonna be? This one's calling my name. Pig ears. Ooh, pig ears. Actually, that one wasn't calling my name. Well, it's too bad you already are eating some pig ears, but the best part about this video, guys, is I'm eating everything on these buttons, so I'm a part of the whole video. So pig ears. Pig ears. Okay. Frog legs are pretty good. I'm down for frog legs. And don't forget, we got two professional chefs to cook them up the best way we can eat them. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, chef, let's do it. First course, we have some sliced fried pig ears, which okay. have been cooked in the Filipino style, very soy based, and it's accompanied with charred broccoli salad. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It actually looks really good. It looks really good. I feel like it's gonna just taste like bacon. Here we go. Cheers. Damn, that's a small bite. Is it? Cheers. <gasps> Has a little kick to it. Texture is just really chewy, but it's good. It doesn't even taste like bacon. Mm -hmm. What would you rate this meal? I would give it like a seven. Seven out of ten? Yeah, seven out of ten. How about Starting you? to get the aftertaste a little. After trying it, I might have to go with a seven as well. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. And the way it was prepared was really good. You ready for the frog legs though? Actually, I'm not. All right, let's see the frog legs. And for the next course, we have some French frog legs cooked mm -hmm. Creole style with a flour and cornmeal. Uh, coating and it's served in a pool of smooth remoulade sauce. This is something that's very common in New Orleans I hope you enjoy it and I would suggest dragging the frog leg through the remoulade sauce. It looks amazing. Thank you, Thank you. This is prepared is very very delicate. This looks bomb. The sauce looks insane. Oh <laughs> Ready? Right. Cheers, Cheers. Mm. Mm. Sorry, the bone. I kept getting the bone. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's fire. Bomb. That was so good. Would eat again. That was actually really good. Mm -hmm. I'd say a lot of people say that frog legs taste like chicken. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. It's just the texture is slightly different. You different. Know? But the taste is similar to chicken. I think it's a little bit chewier. Chewier and slimier almost. Brian just went in for another bite. <laughs> it's good. I'm going to have to give this one a 9 out of 10. Me too. That's what I was going to say. 9. It was really good. All right, Jessica. Are you happy you didn't get like the bull testicle? or? So happy. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what else we're eating next. All right, next up, we got my beautiful mom. Hey, guys. Are you hungry? Yeah, you told me not to eat for three days, so <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, so let's see what you're going to eat by pressing the buttons. Okay. Pork liver. <laughs> oh, this is a perfect time to clear something up. A lot of people think that we're Muslim and we can't eat pork. No, we do eat pork. We're Christian. All okay. right. Okay, so meal it's number second. two. Okay. Chicken intestines. Chicken who? Chicken what? Chicken intestines. Chicken butt. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we got pork liver and chicken intestines. This what? is gonna be interesting. Good combination. My stomach's gonna be doing backflips after this video. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me hear it again. Chicken Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you for inviting me for dinner. Can't wait. It's always a curveball of what FaZe Rug is doing today. Oh, yeah. Hey, mommy, you wanna come to my indoor water park or you wanna come eat chicken intestines? I'll do the second one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here it is. Ooh. I present to you chicken intestines, which have been slow braised until they're soft and then finished on the grill. They've been dressed with a red chili paste glaze, which has some rice wine vinegar and a little honey, okay. and garnished with fried garlic. Wow. Oh. That makes it easier, the presentation. Yeah. They are Thank chewy, you. and the texture that you get out of them, trust me, it is nothing more than just chicken fat. Okay. <laughs> so we're in for a treat, for sure. All right, Jeez. so it is gonna be chewy. Here we go, chicken intestines. Oh. Not bad. The sauce is so good. I like. It gets like very mushy. Yeah, at the end. Six out of ten. What do you give it? I'm not the biggest fan of it. Hold on, at the end is not. Yeah, it's like more at the end. It has like a little aftertaste, but I'm gonna have to shoot lower for this. Yeah. And say four out of ten. Like, it started out fine, and then like the aftertaste kind of hit. It's mm -hmm. kind of, I would say, tastes like vinegar in a way. Oh, yeah. Like sour. Are you ready for the pork liver? Yeah, I am. All right. I am. Oh, here we go. Wow, that looks oh. great. Pork. I present to you pork liver. You'll notice this has a very minerally taste, which I've attempted to cut into with this asparagus chimichurri. It's got some sweetness to it to cut into the bitterness of the liver. It has been grilled and cooked very clean. I hope you enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Did you say chimichu, the designer? Can you smell it? Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Oh, I oh no, you definitely smells. need some yeah. of that. Here we go. Cheers. 
Mmm, this is good. Another like very chewy texture. No, this is good for me. Honestly, that wasn't bad. It wasn't as chewy as the other ones. I'm just not a fan of liver. Yeah, I know. I am. Sorry, liver king. And Don't when kill I me. cook liver, when they sm the smell, when you cook it, it's bad. I admit it. But the taste is so good. You, you just have to put a lot of spices and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So what would you rate this? I'll go eight. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to go a five out of ten. All right, mom. Well, you're free to go. <laughs> I'm running. Okay. <laughs> All right, Noah. I know you're a daredevil. I know you like to push your yourself in every situation so what are you hoping to get i'm gonna go out and say it. i want the testicles i'm down for the testicles like, baby i feel like that's up my alley you know what i mean all right whenever you're ready go for it mm. alligator alligator oh, okay that's not bad i've actually tried alligator from like the fair same all right no one more come on why did i sign up for this For that. I don't know why, just because I've seen so many people eat it on TikTok, it looks good. Do you think I'll have like their kids in my stomach type of thing? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I'm down. Let's go, let's go get uh, it. Let's do it. Some alligator? Yeah, bro. I'm excited. Okay. Taco. Oh, yo. With a green hatch chili salsa. Looks and fire. that's not just any gator. That's gator tenderloin. Ooh, oh, that's okay. getting better. All right, thank you. Dude, All my Florida like, boys are going to be hyped for this one. Like Wagyu tacos. That's what I was going to say. All right, cheers. That's amazing. That's actually really That's good. That's amazing. There's a lot of flavor due to like, I think there's some like lemon in there. Oh yeah. Some lime maybe. Was that cilantro? In specific for the meat. Mm. Do you think it's a little chewy? It is chewier than any type of meat that I usually have, but in a good way. I like this a lot. Might have to go for another bite, bro. Mm -hmm. Bro, save it for the testicle, man. Mm. I'm gonna have to go for a nine out of 10. I'm gonna say 10. Really? Solid 10 out of 10. Okay. Like it just tastes like a regular meat, but like just a little chewier and not yeah. fire. Yes. I present oh my Rocky Mountain oysters Bro. sauteed in butter and topped with a Moscato Bernays and out of sympathy I just added some crisp prosciutto. All right Noah. I want you to just try it first I just want to see your reaction. All right, cuz that'll help me So again the preparation everything about it just looks amazing again. There's probably millions of kids in this one bite right here, so Be for real bro. It's amazing like Wagyu. No way. Oh, bro, it's Wagyu. I'm telling you, super soft, chewy. That's like if you got like the fattiest part of a steak and you just ate that piece. I'm giving that like a eight or nine. You know what I'm saying? Like it's pretty bomb, especially with the preparation, the sauce. I'm gonna go for a six out of 10 on this. This is valid. Honestly, I did expect it to be a lot worse. <laughs> so the fact that it came out to be a six on my scale, yeah, that's yeah. good. No, really good. Caitlin, I am very shocked you said yes to this video. He tricked me. All right, whenever you're ready, pick two buttons. <laughs> Okay, alpaca bone marrow. Guys, I feel like you know this by now, but I'm very uh, plain. I like cheeseburgers, french fries. So this is very out of my comfort zone. All right, so alpaca bone marrow and Ooh. ostrich egg. Ostrich egg. It's not going to be raw, right? Kaylin, I just had bull testicle. I feel like the two that you just picked are the easiest ones. I hope so. Let's go. Present to you alpaca bone marrow. Okay. It's 100% cholesterol, but it's the good cholesterol. <laughs> it's a little bit on the strong side I've served it on some bagel toast for you just with a little bit of finishing floor to sell salt you know like, what country like eats this the most probably be Peru thank you looks delicious all right Kaylin <laughs> <laughs> I know I know you're nervous I know you want me to eat it first mm -hmm. I got you ready <laughs> he just dug into that okay please tell me now like please just tell me what am I it's doing? a very strong taste but I think the toast helps a lot it's really not that bad <laughs> that was a Squidward bite. <laughs> okay. Chew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not horrible. Guys, it's just because I know what it is. I psych myself out. It is a psychological thing for sure. Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? A five. Five out of ten? Yeah. I think I agree with you on that one. I think it's it's gonna be a five for me. Yeah. But you do like eggs. I do. You like ostrich eggs. I'm hoping they taste like regular eggs. I'm sure it will. Okay. Alright, let's go crack the egg. All right, here we have the ostrich egg. Now, you're gonna let me crack this thing. I'm insisting that you crack it. <laughs> Can you give me some pointers on this? What I would suggest is not using wrist or elbow, but more shoulder and coming down from some height and um, spot me on the dry cleaning bill. <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's up? Okay. Oh, jeez. 
There you go. Oh, all right. Um, success. <laughs> success. We Check did it. Oh, wait. <laughs> we phased the egg. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I expected. So what are you going to prepare with this? So with this beautiful egg, we're going to prepare an omelet with uh, caramelized uh, onions and shiitake mushrooms. Sounds insane. Perfect. I'm ready. I have a good feeling about this one. I sure hope so. Ostrich egg omelet, caramelized shiitake mushrooms, chai oil, crema mexicana. Wow. Ooh, Enjoy. okay. Cheers. Hey, Come you on. go first. I was trying to trick you. You go first, go. Just like regular eggs. Oh, come on. Think of a fresh egg off the farm, a chicken egg, and you just made some scrambled eggs in the morning. It wasn't bad. I think you'd be a good contestant in Fear Factor. I told everybody earlier today that you couldn't pay me to do this stuff. But you're doing it. For fun, to help you. <laughs> okay, thank but you. But like thank other things, I got good stuff. All right, so what's the rating on this? I'm gonna give it an eight because the chef made it really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a seven only because I'm just not a huge fan of eggs in general. So. True, he hates eggs. Not bad. You Pretty did it. Thank I'm you. proud of you. Thank you. The comments are gonna eat me alive. Papa rug. Face rug. Gosh, everyone hates me today, huh? I love you. Oh, thank you. All right, Dad, whenever you're ready, pick a button. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this color because that's my Tesla's color. Oh, yeah. Rattlesnake. <laughs> Rattlesnake. We're eating rattlesnake. All right. Hey, we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. You can't judge something without trying. Yeah. So. Blue. Iguana. Iguana. Like the lizard. Is it the green lizard? It's the lizard. Oh my god. I didn't even know no, 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 no. that you can buy something like that to eat. I didn't know that that that's an actual food. I just had lunch earlier. You gotta go. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Okay. I don't want to get like. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right. You know what, I'll, I'll try it before. <laughs> okay, okay. Is that okay? That's perfectly fine. All right. You ready? I am. All right. Mm. Rattlesnake sausage. Now this is ground rattlesnake, which does not have a lot of fat. So some chicken fat has been added to that. I paired it with a cherry balsamic sauce. Okay. Hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. Look, first, I just, I can't believe I'm gonna eat a rattlesnake. I think before we eat the rattlesnake, guys, you should hit that subscribe button. There's a new YouTube update that went live, so it's actually a lot easier to subscribe now. So you see the big white button? Hit that subscribe button. Cheers, Cheers to Rattlesnake. Actually not bad. Not that bad. It's not like you're eating a rattlesnake. It's good. I'll give it five. Really? Yeah. I'd say like a like a seven out of ten. Oh wow. Yeah. It's not bad. We're gonna compare this to what iguana tastes like. Oh god. I wonder like how different the taste is gonna be. Iguana sausage. This iguana meat is ground up a little finer before they make it into a sausage. It should have a softer texture. I paired it with port demi glace, and we have some micro cilantro on there for you. Do you know what country like eats the Caribbean? Caribbean? Yeah, they call it chicken of the trees. Dude, if there's anyone from the Caribbean out there watching my videos, I need to see you in the comment section. That, <laughs> that'd be sick. Thank you, that it actually looks good. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it in the taco form or if I just wanna like no, try No, we just it. wanna try the meat. Yeah, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. I want you to try it first. I just want you to try it first. Mm. All right, whatever. I think it's better than the rattlesnake. It's more like moist, moist and soft to chew. And it's tasty too. I'm gonna give the iguana sausage an eight out of 10. You had five for the rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. What about this? This one, I'm gonna go up to seven. Ooh, okay. Yeah, tastes good too. Yeah. Even if you think it's iguana, but it, it still tastes good. It still it tastes good. I agree. All right. This was definitely one of my favorite dishes. Yeah. Again, I can't believe we ate snake meat and iguana meat. But that's a good experience though. Only being a YouTuber, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Every dish that I had was interesting to say the least. But if I had to choose a favorite, it would probably be the frog legs. If there's one dish in this video that you guys saw that you were dying to try or dying to know how it tastes, leave it in the comment section down below. I love trying food from all around the world and learning about the culture. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all with the next video. Peace.